Okay, so we're gonna be doing mini games, games today. Get your get your gamer juice ready and take a sip with me. Okay, so uh, confession, I I did a recording, uh, but yeah, let's get started on the quiz. Let's see how bad my Pokemon knowledge is. What category is Ammonite listed as in the Pokedex? Spiral? Or Fibonacci if you want to be fancy. Or Italian. Uh... Guy to the gents' house is located in which city? Uh, Golden? I don't know. I think what's this like Game Boy specific games? It's been a while, so I don't. Uh, I don't remember. Quetzal is pink. Pokemon which Pokemon is pink? I don't know why that first part of the questions are. Yeah. I had one second, so I try to hopefully answer correctly. I got 13. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was saying, like, for that, those questions where it's like, oh, this Pokemon is this color. Which Pokemon is this color? Uh, like, I, I don't know why that first part is there. It's like saying, oh, the sky is blue. What is 2 plus 2? But, uh, I don't know what the first part has to do with the second. Let's see if I could get 15 at least. Crystal is a pink po Yeah, see, like this. Like, that, that first part of the question has no relation whatsoever. Darn. Who is it, Olivine? That's Jasmine. Where can the be caught? Uh, War Islands. Okay, one more and we'll beat the. What's your name? Oh, I have no idea. Uh oh. Oh! Oh no, okay. The gym leader is referred to as... Uh... Oh my god. I should've just guessed. I, I should've just picked one at random. Try to, try to get a 15. Oh, I didn't do it. But I did 19 last time. Uh, but you'll never know, because that audio... Audio's lost. Okay, let's try hard. Which Pokemon is black? Murkrow. Vulpix has six tails. How many legs does Electabuzz have to? Yeah, wh why are these so much easier than last time? We're gonna find- There we go. Alright, one more and I'll match my high score. Togetic has one tail. That's fine. The other one is normal. Watch me get six wrong in a row. <laughs> this is the lightest. No? Oh shit. Prophecy's coming true. Prophecy's coming true, guys. Oh. Which Pokemon can't be caught in the Pokemon Gold? Magmar? Shit. Yeah. Well, I got their team. It's pretty good. Some of those questions were really easy, but... I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. You know what? Let's do it. I think... I think if I suffer, it might be entertaining. You know what? Let's go for it. Nine coins. And you have to be the first one to get there to get whatever the prize is. Except, uh, if you see there, there's a pine cone where you get a penalty. Which means the next round you can't go. I can't 
in this game, like, I could either be the first one or try and not get the penalty, but I can't do both at the same time, because while my monkey brain is trying to determine whether it's a pinecone or not, someone else usually beats me to it, so... I think I'll just hope for the best. And you could also, like, faint going there. Which with human players... Oh, damn. That's what I get for playing around. With human players, you could kind of... Um, trick them. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I was gonna explain it, but... I think it's better if you just see. If you get the same items in Rovo, you do get extra points. And the more items you have, the slower you go. Okay. And if you get hit by the swine up, then... No, 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 no! Okay, that's so close. You... This is just a counting game. Uh, you can play at home, too. <laughs> this is kind of long. Okay, to the P. It's funny when you play this, I mean, I <laughs> kind of did it there. Uh, when you play this like on the easier difficulties, like they'll just start like beeping randomly. And it's kind of funny. Yeah, like it'll be like that, but their number's way off. Like here, red was like still beeping afterwards, but he got it right. Eleven? How the hell did Blue get eleven? No, it's way off. Caught two coins. I am just I'm one away. Okay, so the this one is my favorite minigame, the chancy one. Now I'll see if I can get a perfect. I like the music too. Oh, I got a perfect. I think I should have saved my little... Oh, god. Okay, I, I didn't realize I was overlapping some of them. I thought Red was gonna win, but I guess I overlapped him. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, if you get... If, if you're first in that lap, you don't get any of, like, the tornadoes, so... Usually I like to save them till the end. Wasn't necessary here. Ended up winning. I think I'm gonna do very hard. We'll keep it at seven. Just to, I don't want to drag this out too much. This minigame can be annoying when someone's just hogging all the all the items. Or when they push you into a swine up. That's annoying too. Oh my god, please get out of the way. <gasps> oh, you mother. F oh my god, <laughs> he's almost winning. One? No. Six or five. Three. I hate that they're all two coins. I get scared that yellow's gonna win. Ah, oh, no. Uh-oh. 
Okay, I, I didn't win this one for sure. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. I have the reflex of a dead cat. I don't think I've ever gotten like a perfect score on this minigame. Like 100. It would be 100 because 20 every time you get a perfect. Oh. I can't believe I got that. <laughs> oh, I ended up winning. What do you know? You know, so sometimes you get lucky. Hot. Oh, I, I didn't realize how close I was to to get seven coins. Okay. I need your strength, guys. Count with me. Uh oh. <laughs> that was way too quick. Oh, I was under by one. Okay, I, I'm tied with I'm tied with red. What helps with that one to differentiate between Dodrio and Doug Trio is um or Doduo and Do Dodrio is to look at the tail. Because it's hard to look at the <laughs> Oh there's one more. There's just like Slapping the button. Yeah, with uh, Dodu and Dodrio, it's hard to count the heads with these graphics and at the speed they're growing. So, I look at the toe. That's uh, If you ever play this mini game, that, that's how I try and do it. Yes, okay. I don't, I don't remember who picked that minigame, but I think it was Green. He... He doomed them all. You know what I've been thinking? For whatever reason, my not an emulator, 100% legit Nintendo 64 has save states. And I haven't been taking advantage of them, you know. Your trip ends here, I'm gonna take you down. No. Alright. Save state. Uh, I don't think Blizzard would kill me either. Oh, it's super effective? Oh no. Well, good thing. Yeah. Good thing I have, uh, save states. Yeah, and I think I mentioned it before, but like I kind of stopped watching the cartoons around the third gen, like uh, when they went to Hoenn. And I remember there was a point where uh, I mean I, I mentioned it before where I was complaining like the cartoon does a lot of stupid things, um, but. Like, Team Rocket themselves just started becoming really, really annoying to me. <laughs> where, like, they did, like, oh, we're blasting off again, and, you know, blast off into the sky. Like, they... I don't know, like... As a kid, you're kind of like, haha, the, these are, like, idiots. But then, like, as... I think I was just growing up. Um, and I was like, they're so fucking annoying. <laughs> I was like, just get them off. Get them off my TV. Like, there's stuff that you watch as a kid, that you kind of re-watch as an adult. Like, I've re-watched, uh, like, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, like, the one with, uh, well, Yugi. And I thought it helped. Like, I, I still enjoyed it, even though you can kind of tell it's for kids, and there's, like, some parts where it's filler, or just, like, cringy dialogue, like, oh, friendship, you know, but... I thought, um... I enjoyed it overall, and I haven't done that with Pokemon, and I feel it's because I'm gonna like just absolutely, absolutely hate it. Like even Ash and his fucking Pikachu was annoying to me, like, cause 
like you, you would apply game logic and you're like Pikachu like isn't even that great. And then every time like the new season would start, like it would be all of a sudden he'd be like Pikachu would like in the season previous, right? He goes to like the championship or whatever, like the the, the last gym leader. And Pikachu's like, you know, winning stuff for him. And then later on, um, when the new season starts, he's getting his ass beat by like some random trainer. But yeah, like it just—I I don't know. I, I, part of me just wants to see some of the old, just to, like the old cartoons, just to see how they hold up for me. But I feel like I would just—it it won't hold up. Like, even when I was younger, like, I just started growing tired of it. If he does Giga Drain and it's a critical hit, then I would, I'm, I'm dead. Okay. Self-destruct. Yes. Sweet fucking victory. Rubbed out. Oh my, it's a double knockout. That's it. <sighs> Alright, it took like four tries, wasn't it? With save states, like imagine going through that four times just to lose to this guy. As reported you're in deep talented. You're damn right I am. Ah, sweet victory. Alright, price is next. Ice beam. Ah, uh, this is gonna kill me. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't. Cause this game pulls pulls fast ones on you. That's it. Yes, it's going down. Just one Pokemon. I think Lantern would be able to kill him with a spark. Oh, it's Lantern. This is the last Pokemon. Unless he does Ice Beam and freezes me, or he knows uh, like a, a move that makes me confused. Or spat cannon hits five times. Oh, it doesn't matter. Three, four, five, of course. Five is a max, in case you didn't know. So yeah, you, you could just see what good luck they're having. Ice Beam freezes. Ice Beam has one in the ten chance to freeze, and then spike cannon, where it mattered, did five hits. But, you know, I could pull, I could pull fast ones too. Yes, I think you have the potential to climb even higher. Of course I do. Might be the last time we see this for a while. Forever. Alright, Claire's a dragon type. Uh, there aren't a lot of dragon types, so... I imagine her having a pretty balanced team. There's a moveset for Eradita, and I think it was called Fear. Um, and I think it originally stood for like... Uh, fucking something annoying Eradita, but there's like a more family friendly version. That's like... Uh, I think Facade Endeavor something Eradita. But uh, basically, you have a Eradita that's level 1. Uh oh. Not paralyzed. You um, you have a Rattata that's level one, and you give it a Focus Sash or Focus Band. I forget which one. One of them, like, if you're for health and you're about to die, it guarantees that you survive with one hit. So you have it hold that, and then you teach a move called Endeavor, 
which uh, it basically makes your opponent's HP the same as yours. And then you teach it quick attack. And then the fourth move doesn't matter. But the strategy is basically you send out your level 1 rat attack. And the person you're playing against, they're like, oh, this must be a mistake, right? Like, easy win. Uh, and since you're level 1, like, you're gonna go last. Uh, so the, the idea is that your opponent would do a move against you, hoping to kill you, like, quick. Uh, but you use Endeavor, and since you go second, you're, uh, and you have the Focus Sash, you're gonna get hit, and you're gonna be left with 1 HP, and then you do Endeavor, so that they're with 1 HP, right? And then the second turn, you would use Quick Attack, which you makes you go first, and then you kill it, right? It's a, it's a pretty, pretty, uh, interesting strategy there. Yeah, but there's another one, um, and uh, it's called Fun Bro. <laughs> and basically, what it is, it's uh, it's a slow bro, and I forget the move set, but it's something like you you give it a, a berry. I think it's called Lepa Berry, and that berry like it'll if one of your moves is low on on PP, like it'll. Restore it. So you have it hold a Lepa Berry, and then you teach it, uh, I think, Block, which prevents the opponent from switching out. Uh, some sort of recovering move. Um, heal Pulse, which uh, it's a move that's intended to be used in like double battles. But basically, whoever you use Heal Pulse on, it'll heal them, right? And then. Uh, recycle. Recycle is a move that, if you use up your item, you uh, it might have to be a berry specifically. I don't remember, but if you use up your item, you use uh, recycle, and you got that item back. And what Fumbro does is basically makes it so the game goes on forever. <laughs> the <laughs> it's not a strategy for winning. It's a strategy uh, to just make your opponent quit. Because I, I think this was saw, uh, this was um, made and used in. There's a website called Pokey, I think Pokemon Showdown or Pokey Showdown, where you could uh, play competitive Pokemon online, right? And s someone had the bright idea of, of creating this move set, and basically what you do is you use block so that your opponent can't switch out, right? And then you basically, um, you basically survive, try to like survive. So like you'll heal yourself. Um, I think you might have like Calm Mind or, or some move that like boosts your stats up so you're bulkier and it's harder to kill you. Uh, but basically you, you force them to use every single one of their moves so that they run out of PP. And when you can't use a move anymore, if you don't know, uh, your Pokemon will automatically use a move called Struggle. And Struggle is a move that it doesn't do much damage and you get recoil damage, right? So it's kind of like, I think the devs added it there as a way to make sure that a battle ends. Uh, but once they get to that point, as, as Slowbro or Funbro, you use Heal Pulse to heal them. <laughs> so that they're just like... Uh, they have no moves to use and they're just using struggle over and over and if you ever run low on PP you just use recycle and then bring back your berry to give you that PP back and it's <laughs> I like the name fun bro uh, but yeah apparently it was like because uh, 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 for like competitive Pokemon there's a community called Smogon um, and they have like rules and stuff on like different formats or whatever uh, but I think apparently Funbro was legal by their like their current format, so they were forced to create like a new rule to like ban that. <laughs> That's pretty great. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Funbro. I, I think there's videos of there out there of like people going like a hundred plus turns and stuff. Like 
Alright, Graveler, Kadabra, Snorlax. Let's try that. Kingdra, okay. I think I'm just going to immediately self-destruct. Okay, Earthquake. So, I'll survive, and then I'll kill it. Yes. Sweet victory. Hmm, well, done. well, I mean, there's one more. I don't know why I said sweet victory. I can taste the victory in my taste buds. I can almost taste it. Mm. Oh, dig. Should have taught an earthquake, not dig. Bye bye. It's all over. Yes, it is. And down goes Claire. Look at that. I wonder how far you can go at your skill level. This should be fascinating. Well, I'm calling it quits here. <laughs> because Elite Four with rental Pokemon, I'm, I'm good. Uh, so yeah, I'll take a short break, pause the video, get yourself some gamer juice, and meet me back here. That's right, it's uh, first Pokemon Stadium, and we're gonna be doing the mini games from there. Uh, I never owned this game actually. Press the A button with the pendulum, get to the center, red needle to cast hypnosis. Yeah, I remember this was like a timing one. Terrible memory, so. <laughs> I forgot the song. Okay, yeah. I'm putting more inputs. Uh, so, this D pad is a little weird. Like, it's hard to. Uh... Okay, I think I answered it carefully that time. Yeah, it's like really easy to put like multiple inputs, like to do a diagonal, basically. I have to be really careful. Alright, I think green one. Yeah. Imagine being the voice actor for Magic Carp. <laughs> like, yeah, just say carp in the mic like a fish. Pretend you're fish out of water and you're jumping, hitting a counter. Champion. You're damn right I am. I, uh, I want to do more mini games. I'm gonna try hard this time, so I can lose. Uh, let's do five again. I think that's a good, good number. It doesn't take too long. You know what? This is easier if you look at the shadow. I just noticed that. I've been looking at the rocks, like, falling down, but... The shadow's a lot better. Oh, okay. I should've just held it there. I was trying to be cool and tap it for every shadow. Yeah, look at that. They're just mocking me at this point. Just straight fours. 
Something about this music makes it more stressful. What? Oh, yellow one? Damn. He has like a lot left over too. Well, there we have it, guys. You can see how good I am at Pokemon Stadium 1 minigames. Alright, I think I'm gonna cut there.